What's up guys, welcome back to another Cooking with Hannah Calves. This week we're making our favorite protein smoothie. We're going to be using first form, protein, tricks, cereal, ice, frozen berries, Greek yogurt, cinnamon, and ginger. If you do what we do today, this entire smoothie will have about 240 calories with about 36 carbs and 24 grams of protein. Go ahead and pause the video and check out exactly what you need for serving sizes. There's no truth in these dreams 
Thanks. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Food for Thought. Today, we're going to be talking about post-workout recovery, glycogen, and protein. Topic today, glycogen. What most people don't know is this needs to be replenished as soon as you're done working out. Refer back to my first video on ATP. Glycogen is one of the main drivers during a workout. To replenish glycogen, we can look to high glycemic carbs. Replenishment of glycogen ultimately leads to faster and more efficient muscle growth, as well as just maintaining an upkeep of your body. Dextrose is a highly recommended high glycemic carb, which Jim Stepani talks about a lot. Um, it helps to initiate that insulin spike, which we'll talk about at the end of this presentation. Dextrose can be found in pixie sticks, Harboro gummy bears, and also I'm going to be talking about first form ignition at the end here. As mentioned in the last video, our body is going through a state of recovery after our workout, protein synthesis. Feeding our body protein is one of the most important things we can do. Now I recommend isolated whey protein because this is a simple form with low calorie of uh, quality protein getting into your body um, as quickly as possible, it's digested fastly, and also you want to hit that anabolic window which is arguably one of the most efficient times for protein synthesis. Some people will argue this, but I disagree. I think this is the best time to intake quick protein, GH levels drop, and your body stops um, the high intensity workout. Recovery process begins, so shut up and drink your protein, bro. In addition to providing glycogen, high glycemic carbs can also induce an insulin spike. And in a nutshell, insulin spikes call for more efficient protein synthesis, where receptors, which allow nutrients to be taken in for recovery, um, are active because of the spike. In addition to high glycemic carbs causing that insulin spike, leucine is also known to have caused insulin spikes as well. As mentioned before, the last topic I was going to touch on is first form ignition. Ignition is straight glucose delivered to bloodstream helps to increase that insulin spike, decrease recovery time, and also just a great supplement to have in your post-workout stack if you're serious about that recovery process with protein synthesis. So that's all for today. Thanks. What's up, guys? Just a quick Windy Willow update. If you don't already know, we do have a couple of videos that we put out here and there. It's called the Rooted Series. You can navigate to it on YouTube where we really like to talk about different aspects and topics of mental health. So go ahead and check that out as you can see on the screen. If you have any ideas or just some feedback, um, we always love to hear or collaborate with people. Um, so let me know. Also, the offer and promotion for 10% off site-wide um, for Wendy Will Apparel still stands. Again, the promotion is on the screen. Healthy Fit. And also, don't forget to check out our latest blog. Um, last week we posted uh, more so a topic of discussion, kind of an idea, as opposed to maybe um, a more blog-ish type post. Don't really know exactly how to categorize it, but go ahead and check it out. It's called Problem, Hear Me Out, question mark. And that's all for this week. Thanks, guys.